Rain is fun. We've all splashed in puddles or just read a book inside on a rainy day. But all that water from the rain has to go somewhere, right? Much of it becomes runoff. Runoff is defined as the draining away of water or substances carried in it from the surface of an area of land, a building or structure, etc. Runoff will simply keep flowing until it is either absorbed into the ground or drained into the nearest body of water. But what even is the big deal about runoff? It's actually pretty harmful. It picks up many pollutants as it travels. It picks up trash from the street and pesticides from people's lawn. There's chemicals from human waste. Cars can also leave dangerous metals on the road or leak petroleum. There's a long list of pollutants. Runoff carries all of this and more into streams, which lead to rivers, which lead to our bay, the Chesapeake Bay, which leads to the ocean. This creates many problems for our watershed, as every small thing leads to another. The chemicals in runoff can directly harm aquatic life or contaminate water. Runoff also puts a great deal of excess water into waterways, so the water travels at higher speeds. The water then overflows and floods, causing damage to buildings and homes. Runoff also erodes stream and river banks, bringing sediment into the water. The sediment then blocks out sunlight from underwater grasses. Also, seafood will be scarce if runoff continues to kill aquatic life and humans won't be able to swim in polluted waterways. As you can see, there are many problems. One of the main reasons for this excess of runoff is development. In natural areas with a lot of greenery, most of the water that hits these surfaces is absorbed by soil and plants. Only about 10-20% to 20 of the water that hits these surfaces runs off because grass and soil are pervious surfaces. This means that they will absorb water. That's a good thing. However, urban areas have lots of concrete and pavement which are impervious. Almost all the water that hits these surfaces will run, will run off. And that's a bad thing. But there is good news. We can still fix this problem. We can utilize a solution called green infrastructure. It means that we simply use pervious materials to build and plant gardens wherever possible, especially in drainage areas. We can grow plants on rooftops or replace old pavement with pervious pavement. So, if you want to prevent runoff, if you want to see less flooding, less erosion, less nutrient pollution, less fish dying, and less of all these other problems, do something about it. You, a regular person, can make a difference. You can avoid putting pesticides on your lawn, plant gardens, pick up trash, and advocate to stop development from taking over your area. To save our watershed from the dangers of runoff, be the change you wish to see. Don't run from runoff.